Well, that was a gift. Full toss, bad delivery, and taken advantage of by Carl Hooper. Atherton's gone down the wicket and planted him over long on for six. Well, that was a lovely shot, born a little bit out of frustration for the excellent bowling by the youngster. Good shot indeed, but it does say something about Young Khan's bowling. Well, he's gone again, taking him on. Hit him down through extra cover now. So 10 runs coming in the over. Arthur and taking him on after a long period of defense, 193 for four. Well, that's a no ball and he spanked it over mid on for four. That's a quite remarkable stroke by Carl Hooper. Yes, he had to fetch this ball a long way from outside off stump. And that's well struck. Superb shot by Hooper. Well, you very rarely can bowl short at West Indians unless you've got a lot of pace. He's gone, he's LBW. Atherton playing right across the line. He moved a long way across his stumps. I dare say even further than he thought. And umpire Buckner thought about it and then gave the, the lingering death signal. Yes, Keith Atherton moved a long way across his stumps there and Waka Yunus brought that ball back. I think the only doubt would have been the height at which he had been hit. But certainly not very high. His feet were off the ground, but hit him on the roll. Keith Atherton goes. It's a good stroke by Hooper. Using his feet, six runs. It's not a big boundary, this, but he hit that very well. Waka to Junior Murray. And that's a very good shout. He's out, LBW. And that... I think would have hit the middle stump. He made no sort of attempt, just playing it from the crease with his toes pointing back down the pitch. That was very out in my book. Well, that was uppish, but it just passed the bowler and that's Hooper's 50. Oh, that lashing's out, it is indeed. Ambrose <laughs> had a tremendous well, a pair of wahoo across the line, and I think that was palpably LBW. Well, we've had quite a few of them today, so the umpires, as in Trinidad, not as much, of course, been made to work. Playing across Ambrose, getting into the wicket, and uh, hit up just under the knee roll, and maybe the hit, maybe the top of Binlan off. Four runs. Well, you can't argue with a shot like that. He's out, came a long way across. Came right inside of his wicket, Andy Cummins. So Waka Yunus gets another wicket. The partnership is broken. And the West Indies are 312 for eight. Yes, he's been coming across a great deal, a la uh, Junior Murray. And uh, both of them have got the problems of the ball outside off stump. That's his hundred. There'll be a mini invasion of the ground a few fans have evaded the police here and Carl Hooper receiving congratulations from his fans straight to mid on so that's the end of it Winston Benjamin hitting that ball straight into mid on's lap
and Waka Yunus just advising him, well, off to the pavilion. Waka Yunus gets his fifth wicket. But yet another day when the West Indian batsmen were on top, reaching 344 for nine thanks to Carl Hooper, and that's his first test century on his home ground. Waka Yunus finding better form for Pakistan with five wickets so far. We rejoin it on the second morning, the last wicket pair of Hooper and Courtney Walsh still going strong, very much to the delight of the Antiguan crowd. It's in the air, it's four runs. <laughs> that was a splendid stroke by Courtney Walsh. Well, that's gone for six, I think. It has indeed. What a handsome blow. 376 for nine. Up it again, but it's through. Four runs. Well, that was an emphatic stroke. Six runs. What a way to get to 150 for Carl Hooper. Well, what a test match he's having. And what an extraordinary stroke. Hooper himself would have been proud of that. It's a shot that Hooper played three or four times yesterday over the top of extra cover and a good clout. That's a big one. That's gone. That's gone a long way. Bye-bye. And that's another one. Hooper after it. 100 partnership with a six by Carl Hooper. Record last wicket partnership for the West Indies in Test cricket. Here's Wazim to Walsh. It's in the air and it's all over, that's out, it got him on the glove. Walsh couldn't get out of the way of the bouncer. Here it is, and Michael Holding is with me. It certainly was a very good bouncer. And in particular for Till in the light court now, Walsh, well directed at his body. All he could do was try to fend it off his body. So the West Indies 438 all out, with Hooper left on 178 not out after that splendid last wicket stand of 106 with Walsh, a new West Indian record. Pakistan's bowling figures reflecting that late surge, with uh, three bowlers conceding 100 runs each, though Wacker did end up with those five.